why agile suits us you know what is the rationale for moving into agile and how that would help us do our work manage a business make sure technology development would you know progress in a smoother way so that's the reason why we need to go agile we'll talk about that in the in the next few uh, minutes so where can you really apply so why agile so agile can be really applied in if as we discussed yesterday it could be in the context of a, a business it could be in the context of a technology um, it could be in the context of our own life so everything is about change how we can manage change how we can try and support ourselves in, in preparing for this one so in the context of agile you can apply it where you have got any kind of processes involved any workflows any kind of uh, steps activities and tasks whether it could be your hr for example we have got uh, the in the context of e-commerce we are talking about the website that we were doing yesterday uh, the website for um, selling the mobile accessories in that context there's a lot of different um, you know, order processing you need to have a purchasing department you need to have a supplier management team you need to have a marketing team you need to have an order fulfillment team you need to have a technology team to see if the site is operational or not so all of these you have you have to have an infrastructure team so all these different teams have got different kinds of processes it could be the hr process it could be the recruitment training development it could be the software development it could be the infrastructure procurement it could be every uh, type of work that um, is involved in the in, in the running of this particular e-commerce website we were uh, discussing the other day so in that context it is applicable in pretty much every such situation every such scenario it's also in the context of uh, having a business if you've got a business plan if you've got any kind of business uh, process any place where you've got some value to be delivered for um, for a customer you can still try and have agile applied applied in that context the application of agile could be done in that context as well and then you also have the product development right now as we discussed yesterday it's all about the product thinking it's not the project thinking it's the product thinking it's a design thinking it's a systems thinking so we should be you know in a position to apply these principles these kind of methodologies and the concepts in whatever we try and do so it's all about thinking in terms of an idea whether that idea could be translated into or a concept into a particular execution in a website or mobile app or or a web application using the tools and the technologies that we have today and then being able to actually translate it into a, a package into a product that could be sold and and pushed off to our customers users in a way that they can start using so it's all about the product thinking that's important again so it could be a product it could be an application it could be change management any change management program for example we were talking about the banks yesterday how they need to restructure their thinking how the onboarding of new customers nowadays it's all about the mobile phones right so how can we try and think mobile first how can we make sure that all our processes all our initiatives all the work that we do the way we live is all geared towards the aspect of uh, this mobile communications and the online communications using online uh, uh, communication media so all of these are, are actually kind of the suitable candidates for actually applying agile so there's not one particular um, place where you can fit agile and not the others it's it's pretty much very relevant to whatever we do in our life